Well, good day and welcome to Model Kit Beginner. Today we have a look at something somewhat different. It is a Subaru Samba fire engine and I think it's a mighty nice kit. I got that from uh, the birthday club over there by the guys at uh, ISM, which I meet on a regular basis in our hangout. And I think it is awesome. I say it's easy to buy kits for me because I like uh, quirky stuff. That certainly is quirky for us Westerners anyway. And I think we should certainly make an effort and have a closer look at it. Here you go, front page. It is from the fine folks over at Ashima. We see the side tells you a little bit more about the truck and here it gives you the specifications okay. you can freeze that frame it has this a mighty 660 cc engine here we go that's the side there it gives you a bit of a color call out right so if you plan to have this let's just get that here we go you can see it here freeze the frame get an idea of what colors you need and at the bottom there's nothing and I think uh, we should open the box let's put it together get rid of the lid oh sorry for hitting the camera I apologize right we have the instruction manual and as we always do we start with that why not go this is an Oshima instruction manual the kit is by the way and we can have a look at that together can't we because I'm not in OBS so fancy fancy here we go there's what Scanwell tells us about it this is a 2019 rebox of a kit which originally appeared to have been conceived in 1980 in a somewhat different form as a bus here you see there's a bus and then uh, here in uh, 2013 you see it as a kind of a pickup if you want so and from that obviously many iterations are possible and they certainly milked that one didn't they it's like the Hasegawas and their BMW um, and uh, one of those iterations is indeed the firefighting car we popped in 2019 originally uh, kit which is from 1980 so we'll have a look at that um knowing Arishima it probably is fine it shouldn't be a problem right so let me get back into the picture and let's have a look at the instruction it's a couple of uh, languages how to build a model here is another color call art if you rather have it like that you can freeze frame here and you have your colors and there it gives you the paint instructions right over here then it starts building starts building with the frame and uh, suspension right over there uh, looks like it is a bit of a of a curb side I don't see an engine build as such which obviously is something I've shown I guess on a regular basis right over here we have the that's quite a few parts isn't it we oh well, we will see it in a minute i guess we have a bit of p as well it appears i don't know well no it's it's a plate where all the firefighting uh, stuff is uh, located here we have hoses as well right at the bottom looks interesting doesn't it it really does here we have more fire hoses leather over here and a spade over here here at the back you can check all the sprues but you can also check is everything in the box so if you want to see what's on the sprues freeze frame and have a look oh, I, here I see I made a note 220 parts so there's quite a few parts I went to the trouble and counted them right then I'd say we'll have a look at the decals as we do and I really haven't opened any of this yet so let's uh, do the usual and do it together let's uh, come down with the camera just a little all right we have decals right over here now you see the fire engine decals the gold rims and uh, 
the dashboard right over here if you want to see that let's get the light out of this right and other fine decals engine numbers right over here and yeah interesting interesting some very small decals looks like a jet fighters decals well not quite as many but yeah get the idea and we have a front window mask which is actually cut out so you can have a uh, put that on the front window and it will be masked i love it when that is included always a bummer when you have to do it yourself and it's not yeah it's not that much of a just a boring job don't want to do that so always nice to have the mask in here right let's get rid of that keyboard so i have a bit more space here next to me we have a look at the glass and why should we not i will not unpack this as i never do looks okay you can have a look yourself here there's quite a bit of glass actually so there's a huge windshield there's the side windows more little smaller windows and the back window and obviously then the headlight covers here as well right we have a bit of chrome not too much oh no there's some more here well, let's let's do all the chrome together right we have this one there's a bit of chrome in this bag so i'm not quite sure why they have one chrome loose and the other one packed with the normal plastic doesn't make too much sense but here it is right we'll have a look at those in a minute So chrome parts, which, uh, uh, as it always is with chrome-plated parts, you will probably have to, when you cut them off the sprue and you want them really chrome to be have chrome everywhere. Well, maybe we can have our focus on what I have in my hand. Thank you very much. Right, then you will probably have to de-chrome them and re-chrome them. But that's up to you. That depends what you want to do and how you want to build your model. Then we have uh, this one. Let's open this up. Here we have the front grill, if I'm not mistaken. Part of it. The lights right over here. Some mirrors. Here we go. A couple of shiny parts right there. And before we get to the rest of the plastic, let's have a look at the tires, shall we? Here's some, uh, here's some plastic for the rear lights, very nice. Red, semi-transparent, lovely, lovely, lovely. Then there are, as we said, the tires, which we wanted to have a look at. You'll find them right over here. Let's open this up. There are, this looks like the number plates. I would assume feels like metal too so that's very nice like that a lot and then we have the tires itself really packed away aren't they right let's take them out let's have a look at them well first of all there's no seam that's awesome and then you can see there's a nice thread. Where are we going? Here we go. Yeah. Well, I got it. Yes, I got it. Here we go. There's the thread. No seam. Very nice. And I have you to know the tires are actually branded. Here you go. Yokohama? Is it Yokohama? Help me look here. Yes, it is Yokohama tires. That's pretty cool. There you go. Nice branded tires. Not too soft, not too hard. They're actually very nice. I like those tires. Seems to be even a spare tire involved here. Very, very cool. Let's put them back into the baggie. And put them to one side. All right, we've opened up 
enough sprue boxes already, sprue bags. Here we go. Already threw them onto the floor. <laughs> right. We'll have uh, one here. I'll just take them out and, and we'll look at them as they come. Right, we have, uh, looks like parts of the cabin and uh, the roll bar right at the back. And looking from this side, yeah, doesn't look any better. Looks pretty neat, looks pretty good. It's expanded. Yeah, let's hope this is the inside. And let's hope some of them are covered, but there are quite a few marks which we will have possibly have to attend to. Ejector tool marks. And maybe I'm wrong, you're not going to see any of this. I hope that is so. Here we have uh, wheels right over here, all in red. Plastic doesn't feel too hard. It's not, it's not an antique kit. Yeah, it feels all right. Plastic feels all right. Here we go. There you have some other parts, and I'm not even going to tell you what they are. What I can tell you is that they look pretty clean, uh, which I certainly like and appreciate. Then we have a black sprue who was mixed in with the red sprues, which has the dashboard. And you know, we always like a good dashboard. Let's have a closer look. That looks pretty neat. Steering wheel, steering column, all here. Here we have the mirrors. And then we have the side panels right over here. Here we go. Seats. And that's, that's the lower part of the engine, maybe. Yeah. Um, gear shifter, I know that. Some pedals, I know that. So yeah, some parts I might not be able to identify. Handbrake over here. Look at that handbrake. That's, I like this kind of detail. It's actually very nice. Right. And that is one of the blank sprues. Let's just put the plastic bags here to one side so I'll find them again. And we had opened that one up already. Another bag with red sprues. And we have more uh, Spoiler covers, covers, front covers, rear covers, not sure. Anyway, covers, clean looking, red molded. And this, ah, here we go, look at that. We have all the pipes, hose pipes for the fire department. Quite a few, there's quite a contingent which I have on there. These are the hollow ones, not quite sure why they are like that. I'm sure they have a plan. Here are the big ones on the side. We have seen those, the spade. Uh, other equipment right over here. I'm sure there's a pump in between there somewhere. Maybe that's what that is, a pump cover. Right. Oh, very nice. I really, I really do like this. This is a clean, this is a clean kit. It really is. Right, we have another bag here with screws. Black ones in this particular case. Go. just throw everything off with my elbow well done sorry for the sound right now what are we having here oh that's just the the frame which looks pretty neat nice one here we go and then from the frame we have other parts oh there's an engine so i was wrong look at that it actually looks quite nicely detailed as well so you can go crazy there with the paintbrush suspension right over here button panels very nice very nicely detailed button panels i like that a lot and uh, suspension parts oh wow that actually doesn't look bad at all does it i am uh, quite impressed indeed then we have one last sprue, which is red. Here we go. And we'll see, I think that's the bottom plate for the back part where all the equipment gets, uh, I think that might be the pump cover. Here's a fire extinguisher. Ladder is right over here where am I on the left hand side and other parts which come on there which I don't even dare to identify. 
but as you can see it all looks very clean I don't see any flash whatsoever just a normal cleanup and you should be good to go you really should be and last but certainly not least ladies and gentlemen we'll have a look Let's put that back in the box we have a look at this which is the body of the cabin here you go nice stabilized which is very nice so that should stay in shape until you need to remove those stabilizers which is great i mean you could possibly uh, maybe not paint with some of it still on so that is very 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 sweet here we go looks very nice the gaps look realistic you might maybe want to have it just a tad deeper in order to make sure you don't fill it up with primer and that's it here we go and that ladies and gentlemen i'm not going to pack everything back i hope you'll forgive me for not doing that but that is the subaru samba fire engine and i think it is a quite a neat kit and uh if you're into this kind of stuff get one and even if you're not and you need a change of scenery this might be something to go for well thank you very much for popping in hope you all enjoyed that you guys have a lovely day further and greetings from cape town cheers